So let's go over the difference between the cable kickback and the 30 degree hip abduction. So this one that I'm showing first is the cable kickback and the focus is on glute max, which is the biggest glute muscle. So the glutes are compounded by, are composed by three muscles, three main muscles, the glute max, which uh, is the top booty, the shelf, um, the glute medius, which is the side booty, and then the glute minimus, which is a tiny little muscle um, on the side booty as well. Uh, so on this case, on the cable kickback, we're focusing on the glute max, which forms that top shelf. Um, you're going to kick straight back. Okay, the key here is to keep your core tight. So you're going to contract your abs at all times and you're not going to bend over a whole lot. You're going to stay slightly leaning forward with your abs really contracted and your pelvis neutral in a neutral position. So I really want you to feel exactly where I'm pointing with my finger, that top part of the glutes, all right? If you look at my feet and my foot, it is slightly pointed out. No problem with that. For some people, that's even better. That's even easier to feel, to help feel the muscles working, okay? So my feet is slightly pointing out, but I'm kicking straight back, all right? So, and I'm feeling exactly where I'm pointing my finger there. Now, the 30 degree hip abduction. Uh, so this works exactly, the glute media is exactly what I'm pointing there. So it's the side booty. And you notice that I'm kicking out but not directly to the side. I'm kicking back, but out <laughs> in a 30 degree angle, okay? So if I was going to kick it um, at a 90 degree angle, uh, I would kick straight laterally, straight to the side, and this is not the case. I'm kicking back, but on an angle, all right? See what I'm doing here? And that side portion of the glutes, this is where I am feeling, and this is where you should be feeling the exercise as well. The same rule applies in terms of keeping your core tight, keeping your pelvis as neutral as possible so you can really, really squeeze in that glute muscle. Okay, and another tip for you for these two exercises, both of them, just like try to touch uh, the glute muscles while you're doing it just to see if you can feel the muscles working. So this is on the opposite leg just to show you another, uh, a slightly different angle. So it's a uh, kick back. I'm kicking straight back. But yes, my fit, it, my, my foot is on a slight, um, is slightly pointing out. Okay. But I'm kicking back, straight back, no angle there. And then for the 30 degree, back and out on a 30 degree angle to work the side glutes. So they are similar exercises, but they work different portions of the glutes and they each have their importance in terms of uh, helping develop the, develop the glute muscles. I hope that that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions on these exercises.